welcome language learners from all around the globe to Listen Up, the podcast that takes you on a captivating voyage through the English language. Whether you've just started your journey or have been navigating the intricacies of English for some time, this podcast is designed to be your trusty compass, guiding you towards fluency and unlocking the wonders of English. I'm your host, Karen, a passionate traveller and an experienced teacher of English as a second language. Join me as we embark on an exciting expedition filled with British history read by a native speaker. Together, we'll conquer the challenges and celebrate the victories of learning English as a foreign language. Each episode of Listen Up will immerse you in a variety of topics from aspects of British culture, history and literature. We'll explore useful vocabulary that will empower you to communicate confidently in English. If you want to read along with the podcast, head to my website www.onepawinthesand.com slash ESL. The link is in the description. But this podcast isn't just about learning English in isolation. It's about building a community of language learners, supporting one another and fostering a love of the English language. I encourage you to engage with us through my Patreon page where you can connect with fellow learners, ask questions and share your own language journey. So whether you're sipping tea in Tokyo, walking the streets in Sao Paulo or studying in a bustling cafe in Berlin, Listen Up is here to accompany you on your quest for English fluency. Join me as we embark on this transformative expedition where language becomes an adventure and your dreams of effective communication become a reality. Today's episode is called Solar Eclipse. In the year 1999, something very special happened in the sky that got a lot of people excited in the United Kingdom and Europe. It was called a total solar eclipse. On this day, 11th of August, 1999, many people looked up at the sky to see an amazing event. This event made a strong memory for those who were lucky enough to see it. People who loved science, those who were just curious, and even people who were doubtful, were all amazed by the wonders of the universe coming together. A total solar eclipse is when the moon moves between the earth and the sun, making a shadow on our planet and making the sun's bright light disappear for a short time. As the moon's shadow crossed over the UK, On that special day in the morning, people felt excited and were looking forward to it. Certain parts of the UK, like Cornwall and some places in Devon, got to see the sun completely covered by the moon. This made the daylight turn to a strange kind of twilight. Birds stopped making noise, and it got cooler, making the atmosphere feel really magical. The 1999 solar eclipse was not just something interesting to look at. It was a rare chance for scientists and people who study space to gather important information. They used telescopes cameras and other tools to take pictures and measurements that helped them learn more about our solar system. Scientists were especially excited to learn about the sun's outer layer, called the corona, which is usually hidden by its very bright light. In the weeks leading up to the eclipse, 
many people were very excited. People in the UK were getting ready for the event. They got special glasses to protect their eyes while they watched the eclipse. I remember schools using the eclipse as a special lesson to teach about how the solar system works and why eclipses are rare. When the sky got dark and the moon covered the sun completely, something amazing happened. People were stunned and filled with wonder when they saw a glowing ring around the dark moon. It looked like magic. At that moment, many people from different places and backgrounds felt like they were all experiencing something wonderful together. It was like the whole country was connected by this incredible sight. This event helped people remember that we are all part of a big universe. The 1999 solar eclipse was so special that it left a lasting impact. It inspired young people to become interested in space and learn more about how planets and stars move. It also showed how important it is to learn about science. People started to look at the sky with new curiosity. The next time a full eclipse like this will happen in the UK is not until 2090. So many people felt very lucky to have seen it. It truly was a once in a lifetime experience for many. And that wraps up another episode of Listen Up. I hope you enjoyed learning about my topic today and practicing your English. Remember, the exploration doesn't have to end here. If you have any lingering questions or want to continue the conversation, I've got some great opportunities for you. First off, I offer private lessons for those of you eager to expand your knowledge further, whether it's practicing today's subject or exploring other topics. I'm here to guide you on your English journey. Reach out to me through my website or social media platforms and let's embark on a personalized learning experience together. I have been involved with training people for more than 10 years. I've been teaching English as a second language for over a year, in which time I have taught over 500 students, many of whom are regulars. But wait, there's more. If you're a devoted fan of Listen Up and want to show your support, consider joining our Patreon community. Your contribution directly helps us bring you more episodes and maintain the quality of our show. Your support truly means the world to me and we couldn't continue this podcast without you. So whether you choose private lessons or Patreon or both, I look forward to staying connected and exploring the fascinating realms of English as a second language together. Thank you once again for joining us on Listen Up. Until next time, keep practicing. Thank you.